It is difficult not to turn on the news on any day of the week and find a bulletin that does not contain a reference to Brexit. Following the referendum in 2016, the government has been negotiating its exit from the EU and still both sides are at each other's throat about the terms of divorce and in some cases it would even seem that there is an effort to ensure that United Kingdom stays in. At ARBD Awareness, this could be a cause for underlying tension. I am Slovakian and Clive is English. The truth is that we are rock solid in our cause, which is to spread the word about alcohol-related brain damage. And we are in total agreement about the measures that should be taken. I remember two weeks ago on the BBC's question time, there was much discussion about the Scottish government's decision to introduce a minimum price per unit for alcohol. There was a general agreement that this was a good move, but one measure as part of many to address this problem. In ARBD awareness, we strongly believe that action needs to be taken in the following areas. A first one, very, very important, is the pathways. Hospitals and GPs need to have an agreed pathway for people who arrive with alcohol-related problems. Staff need to be trained to deal with patients who are at risk of ARBD. Secondly, is education. People really need to know that excessive drinking of alcohol can lead to permanent brain damage, even at a young age, and they need to know the signs to be able to take remedial action. Next one, also very, very important, families need support, even if it is only a helpline, so that they know where they can get answers to their many questions. This is what we do in the ARBD Awareness. We are here for you. If you do need any advice, any support, answers any questions, please, please, let us know, contact, contact us. And then finally, is training. More, more facilities are required, and this can be met by the government funding for ARBD placements within the private sector. Staff training should follow and remedial program introduced. But the greatest change that we advocate and the, probably the most difficult to achieve is a change in the culture and the reverence towards alcohol. We are not opposed to alcohol. We just believe that people should be aware of what could happen so that they can make their own decisions. That is very, very important. It seems really unreal to us that 75% of adult population drink alcohol. Well, yet, knowledge of Wernicke's Korsakoff syndrome is almost entirely confined to the medical and social care professions. Most people only hear about this illness when uh, a relative has it. But in ARBD awareness, we believe that alcohol industry must be made responsible for making the public aware of this illness and for contributing towards the considerable costs to society borne by the NHS and social care. Well, whatever the outcome of the negotiations to leave the EU, there is one thing for certain. On the day that UK live, both sides will either be celebrating their success or drowning their sorrows with alcohol.